Hey, it's DJ Case, and in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can get perfect beat matching in Acid Pro. Obviously, if you are beat matching something which has been made digitally, um, where everything has been drawn on a grid, that will be perfectly in time once it's beat matched. However, if you are beat matching something that's been uh, like a live recording from a band, the chances of it being perfectly beat accurate from start to finish is unlikely so you will need to make adjustments to the beat match uh, to the beat mapping process in order to uh, make sure that it stays in sync throughout so for this example I've just pulled up an old reggae album that I've got from 1975 um, so obviously this would have been recorded by a band and I'm gonna basically get it perfectly beat matched in Acid Pro so that it um, holds perfect time um, on every bar so just going to drag in a track into Acid Pro now I'm not going to use the beat mapper wizard because if you use the beat mapper wizard what will happen is is that it will try and make it grid perfect but obviously because it's a live band recording you will need to make adjustments to it so there's no point using the beat mapper wizard for this so I'm going to cancel that So I'm going to change it to beat mapped in the clip properties and then I just need to find where um, it's going to start from. So if I click on the stretched tab here I can now manually beat map the track using, the, um, using these lines here. So if I just go into this now and find where I want it to start from Okay, so that's the first beat there, so it kind of drops in there. Okay, you can see there. So it has stayed beat perfect up to the, up to that point there, and then it kind of goes slightly off. And that's like I say, that's because it's a band that's um, recorded this, so it's not going to be perfect uh, beat mapped, and also because it's reggae as well, so it's going to be slightly off because it's it's reggae as well. So this is definitely a good example to to do this on. So yeah, so it stays in time perfect here, and again here. And again here. And then it goes slightly off here. So what I can do then is if I double click above the timeline here, uh, it puts in like a little red marker tab. So I can manually move that to there so that it drops back in on the beat perfectly there.
must be sure.